Hello raw online learners. Now the session is about protein targeting and sorting. So seeing this diagram, you know very well this is a central dogma of the nucleus. Okay. So all our information is stored in the DNA. This information, this code is passed on as a message through mRNA, messenger RNA. This one is decoded in your ribosome to produce your protein. So ultimately the protein synthesis taking place in the ribosome which is a protein synthesizing machinery. So DNA to mRNA it is called as transcription. mRNA to the decoding machinery ribosome we call it as translation. So translation means the protein is getting synthesized. But what is our topic? Protein targeting and sorting. So we have synthesized a protein but it has to go to its location. It has to move on to the specific destination. The destination may be the cell organelles or the cell membranes or the exterior of the cell. So the protein moves either to the cell organelles or the membrane otherwise it is expelled to the exterior of the cell. So these are the various protein destination. So protein targeting means once the protein is synthesized it has to move to their proper destination. So it is synthesized in the ribosome. The ribosome may be free ribosome otherwise it is attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. If a ribosome is attached to the endoplasmic reticulum, we call that as a rough endoplasmic reticulum. So, ideally endoplasmic reticulums are two types, rough and smooth. Rough means it has ribosome, smooth means there is no ribosome attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. Protein targeting means this proteins, it has to transport to their correct destination. They are targeted by a signal sequence. So when the proteins are transported to their destination, you have to label an address that is called a signal sequence. Signal sequence is nothing but an address to their destination. So for example, a protein is synthesized in the ribosome. It can be moved to the cell organelles, otherwise to the membrane, otherwise it is moved out of the cell. So protein translocation, protein targeting are done by two ways. One is co-translational, otherwise post-translational. There are two pathways. First one is co-translation pathway, second one is post-translation pathway. Co-translation pathway means it is occurring during the process of translation. Post-translation means it is after the translation process. Okay, So, here in the later case, the translation is over. Then the protein translocation takes place. So, it is after the translation. When it occurs during the translation, we call it as co-translation protein targeting. 